hi, this is Vino again. Okay, so I was explaining of where this king of the sound manifested planet, the interdimensional sound manifested planet, universe, galaxy, people, etc. was standing, asking the question of what would happen if I were to now stand as everything in this existence. Before he applied this, consid this consideration, um, the statement he had made, he had to prove something of a belief that was held by everyone in such an existence as himself. That if he were to leave, then apparently the universe, galaxy, people, planet would disappear. He said, but how does that work? You mean further, and asking questions. How is it possible that if I were to leave, that everything would disappear? In other words, if that is so, then I must be that very existence. In other words, this existence must be me. But if it is me, then everything must be me. Because how am I different to any other king? How are the people of my planet different to any other people of their planet? Maybe the expression is, you know, you've got sound, crystals, um, geometrical alignments, vibrations, frequencies, etc. Magnetic planets, etc. Everything looked exactly the same except the expression. So, he left the planet. People went into absolute fear, extensive fear. The reason why is because the king, <coughs> see, death existed. He would disintegrate. But then when the king would disintegrate, before that there would already be another king born into that planet to immediately take place. But this time this king was leaving without there being another king even born yet to take the throne because he left unexpectedly. No one expected it. He just left. And the universe, the galaxy, and the people, the planet did not disappear. But no one noticed, which is interesting. Everyone went after this king because they thought he had gone crazy. Of course not in such language, but they thought that there was something wrong. He had gone, there's something wrong here. Twist. And they had beings from the frequency planet after him to see maybe there was a few alignments that were required to be done in his expression that maybe cross vibrated causing a friction within him that caused him to go mental. So, the search was on. And all the planets and all the kings went on the search for this particular king of the sound planet expression. He was never found. Ever. He just vanished. So, people started realizing one thing. They perceived that if the, it's not, it's the, actually the other way around. That if the king were to leave his existence in such a way of not coming back, the king himself would disappear. Not the planet or the existence or the universe or the galaxy or the people, no. Kingwood, which instilled fear inside the kings of all the other planets, of course. And it so started manifesting that the kings never left their universe, galaxy, planet, and people. The people themselves were allowed to travel. But from that day, a new law was 
placed in into the universes and galaxies. This law was that the king shall remain within his universe, his galaxy, his throne. Only the people may move around, go visit other existences. So, the people of the sound manifested planet um, had no king for a while, till they waited for the next king to be born or birthed of their planet. They had this whole pool, each planet had this pool from which the new expressions would rise. It should be the birth. <coughs> Not understanding that it's the same king that just went around in circles the whole time. Anyway. So then there was a new king. And everything was fine. In this particular existence. So. <coughs> now. Back to present time. Present time meaning two years ago, two and a half years ago, round about there. I only noticed something. Okay, there existed a prophecy in the interdimensional existence. I refer to it as a prophecy, but it's such a abused word these days. It's extensive. There existed this prophecy. Now I knew it is fascinating. I knew starting point for manifesting this existence, this human form, humanity, was for one reason fear. The Anunnaki rose to power position in existence. Okay. Now from 350 billion years ago, you'll notice that beings required a leader, some form of a manifested God, which is in the form of a king as well, if you really look at it. And now in his existence and the experience that I've explained with regard to the Martians and the serpents and the Sumerians and the Draconians and the etc, etc, etc. This was now another existence. Remember, it was many. Within this existence, the Anunnaki oh, and the Atlanteans as well, the Anunnaki was the power of the entirety of the existence. See, so you had the previous one that I just explained, 350, years, 350 billion years ago, that existed in sections. Okay, each section in this existence at the planet, the galaxy, and the universe. Whereas in this existence, Anu and the Anunnaki and his forefathers were the gods, the king of this existence in its entirety. But it was like an unspoken acceptance, agreement, by all in this particular existence. Okay, this is Anu, <laughs> this is Vino, god damn it, thank you very much. <laughs>